Okay guys, so we're going to be dropping this now. So hopefully you guys can see this. So, let's go. Hello everyone, and this is my 300 sub special. And yes, this is the Sonic 3 Death Egg Robot. Um, I've had this mock for probably about a month now. I, cause we've had like, we've been so close to 200, to 300 subs. I said this for so long and we finally hit 300 subs, about 301 to be exact, which is crazy. I'm so happy. But um, yeah, so um, be sure to like, subscribe, share this video. And I guess we'll jump right into this video. Okay, so the first thing you might notice is that he's big, like really big. Um, this thing here he is compared to my hand. He is quite a big thing as you can see him compared to Sonic. Um, so um, yeah, this thing, again, um, it was very tough to build. The body was so hard to get right. I'm gonna go more in detail first uh, later in the video. But um, yeah, for now though, I just wanna start off by talking about the platform. So we'll start with that. So here we are on ground level. As you can see, it looks a lot bigger from this angle. But on um, this whole thing, uh, well, let me just move Sonic out of the way really quick. But this whole uh, thing right here can be removed, the whole thing itself. I just moved it already because um, to make it easier for myself, let me just put that down here. So here we have the actual platform. So in the game, Sonic is on like this big, I guess, platform on the Death Egg. And so he's on here and he's trying to fight the giant Death Egg robot. So I've built this here. And I guess we will go into more detail now. Okay, so these are supposed to be the fingers. Now in the game, uh, the Eggman uses his fingers to uh, try and crush Sonic. This is supposed to be from the first phase, but as you can see, me using this, I didn't have a lot of, what is it, uh, two by two circular bricks in dark gray. Uh, so I had to use, uh, what is it, these types of pieces, tiles and, or plates, I mean. And so I had to use those. I think it gives off a nice finger effect. This is what the platform looks like. You just have some tiles and studs. That's where the uh, uh, Death Egg Robot connects. Over here, we have an exploding finger. I just used something to make it look like it was exploding. I use this transparent piece so that way it could fit inside this brick correctly. So you have like some like rubble on the floor there. I think I did a pretty good job of making the fingers. They're pretty simple design. I think I could have maybe done a better job, but this is the best I could do at this scale. So I um, mean, yeah, it's in the platform or something special. This is what it looks like on the bottom, as you can see. But um, yeah, it's basically it for the stand. And I guess we move on to the main baddie. Okay, so here's the Death Egg Robot. As you can see, he is very, very big. Um, but first, we, first, before we look at the head, I want to go and take a look at the body, since uh, this part is probably the part I'm most proud of, since it is very, very huge. So, first off, you have these three circles at the bottom. It was very hard to like make this just based off sprites in the game, so I did try my best. But at the bottom here, you have these three circles. Um, I guess some ventilation, some line thingies. And um, as you can see, it's all covered in red and stuff like that. And to make that curve shape, it was very hard. I could have used slopes, but I'm not too, too good at like molding and stuff and Lego and shaping things. So I just had used, what is it, cheese slopes and stuff and slope pieces to get that angle effect. I also used some studs to get uh, these, I guess these like black holes or whatever on side, the side of the body that goes all the way around. On the side, you have some more uh, things like that as well, greebling, I guess. These are supposed to be the shoulders of the body. If you see it from like this angle, um, these are supposed to be, I guess, like the arms and something like that. Um, again, I guess these should maybe go down a little bit more, but again, um, it's just how I could build it and stuff like that. You also have these, like, I guess, gray lines going all the way across the body right here. Um, again, that was pretty fun to build and stuff like that, find the right pieces. I did want to go through a lot of Great piece though. The same thing is on the other side with the body and everything like that. This used a lot of tiles. This took a lot of parts to make and stuff like that. But I'm very proud of how I was able to do this. I think I did a really good job. You can see the top of it a bit more like that. There you can see the bottom of the bill. It's built on this uh, plate right here. I'm not sure what this particular plate is called. But you have that. The back of the bill, as you can see, is very uh, lackluster. Um, I didn't want to do the bag because I ran out of pieces uh, of like red pieces and stuff and plates. So you can see how I did like the body 
and things like that you can kind of see the things I used uh, snot bricks and stuff it's very very hollow there is there was I think there is supposed to be a beam that's supposed to go through here but I took it out I think I I think that there's supposed to be a beam here to keep it more stable, but I actually didn't do that. You can see more of the top of the head inside right there, but yeah, very, very hollow. Um, again, you know, you're not really supposed to see it from this angle, but yeah, from the front though, this guy, I think I did a really good job on the body. So now let's move on to the head, which is by far probably the coolest part of this mock. Okay, so the head comes off very easily from the body. It is a little bit hard, like, because it's very delicate, this body. But here we have the head. Let me just move the body out of the way. And here we have the head. The head was the first thing I made. It was very hard to get the, the proportions right to make him look how he does in the game. So first off, you have the eyes. You have this, I guess, a normal eye and, like, these two weird this we he has this weird eye for his right eye not sure I, I think i did a pretty good job interpreting that but you just have his nose too his bright red nose it sticks out quite a bit as you can see from the side angle but um yeah again that's red you have some uh what is it grill pieces to get those lines are on the side of the face at an angle um at the top again you have some more like slope pieces and things like that a lot of slope bricks to get that kind of circular shape for the head as you can see going all the way around it doesn't look, it doesn't look too pretty from the back but you don't really see it from the back that much the top as you can see uses some more grill pieces plates slope pieces and things like that this as you can see is kind of illegal i think because you can see it's kind of not all the way level with uh this brick right there but um you do have this this can take apart as you can see this part of the head so you said this part, that's what the inside looks like. You can see the inside of the nose. Let me just angle my light in there. But you can see the stuff in there. As you can see how I made that. You can also take apart these. That's how I just, I just got a, a snot brick, put that on there. And I got this and I put it at an angle to make the, the, the face have like a circular shape. This was very, very hard to do. I think I did a really good job. One thing is, uh, well, I'll tell you in a second. First, you have, like, this thing right here. The, I guess, I don't really know what it is. Like, you see, like, this black stuff or whatever in between the head. Sorry about that. And the body. So, I have that. One thing I tried to do, but failed, was try to get the, the Master Emerald. Like, the laser. Uh, in, like, the second phase. But I couldn't do it because if I had planned... Because I, 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 I tried to do it last minute. Uh, but... I really should have planned ahead more because when I tried to do it, uh, the body, just, I just couldn't do it. If I would have planned that from the start, maybe I, I could have been able to implement the, the laser. But sadly, I was not able to implement the laser for this build. I really wish I could have. Maybe if I ever remake this mock, I'll be able to do that. But um, yeah, so I guess that's pretty much it for the mock. I guess we'll go over it one more time, or the outro and stuff. And yeah, so let's get started with that. Anyways, guys. That's it for this video. I had, this was a very challenging mock to make. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for 300 subscribers. It made the world to me. My goal is probably to get 1,000 subscribers. Hopefully, we can get that before I go to college. Or if I do go to college. Who knows? Anyway. Um, but, yeah. But because of this, I'm going to be dropping this mock. Because I've had this for so long. I need the parts for this. Because for other mock stuff. So, I'm going to be dropping this mock for all of you guys to see. So let me just go get the setup, and we're going to drop this mock and destroy it. So, yay! Okay, guys, so we're going to be dropping this now. So hopefully you guys can see this. So, let's go. Wow. Okay, so here it is. Here is the damage. As you can see, it's been destroyed. Look at this. Look at his face. Look at his face. So now I have to go clean my room, guys. Sorry if the audio is a bit bad. I'm not wearing my mic. But, um, yeah. So, hope you guys heard me. And, so, yay. I, uh, destroyed this. So, please leave a like and subscribe. Because, I'm going to clean this up. So, yay. See you guys next time. Bye.